All right, everyone, let's play a Kahoot. Woohoo! It's Kahoot time. There's our code. It's 373-5774. Make sure to type that in so we can get playing. Oh, what's going on? What's up with all these? What's going on? Why are there all these bots? Oh no, what are we doing? What's going, what's happening? <laughs> no, just kidding, I know what's happening. This is a programming tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to make this. And it's actually pretty easy. We're gonna do it using Node.js and each one of these bots is going to randomly pick an answer. So just to show that off, I'm gonna hit start and we're gonna see what the bots do. They're gonna all answer as quickly as possible. So these bots will absolutely destroy. Like they win because they're faster than a human could ever be. And then uh, sometimes they don't all answer, but we can just skip that and look at that. Pretty good score for a starting game. Let's do one more question. And I'm gonna just skip it. And look at that. So, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get started. All right, so to get started, pop open your favorite IDE. I'm of course using VS Code. I don't know why I typed IDE into Ulauncher. Doesn't matter. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open your terminal in the same folder. You want to make a separate folder for this project because it's Node.js and so it's going to have a Node modules folder and all that stuff. So once you've got this open, type into your terminal. You got to have Node.js installed for this to work, of course. npm install kahoot.js-updated. Press enter and then we're just going to wait a second and we're done. That was super easy. Now, make a new file. I'm going to call it index.js. And what we're going to start off by doing is just making one bot. We're not going to have it make a hundred bots. We're going to make just one bot and then we're going to make a couple changes to the code so that it's, you know, a hundred bots. Or actually as many bots as you want. So the first thing we're going to want to do is type var kahoot with a capital K equals require open parentheses and then in quotes kahoot.js dash updated VS code fills it in semicolon at the end of the line now we're going to do var kahoot with a lowercase k equals new kahoot the capital K semicolon and then we're going to do var pin equals and then quotes we're just going to do one two three four for now and then when we actually start a game before running it we'll just change this to the actual game pin next we'll tell var name equals and you can make this whatever you want as long as it's a string so that you can name your bot I'm going to call it Kahoot bot for 2069. It's very nice. And next, we're just going to do kahoot.join open parentheses pin comma name and then after the parentheses dot catch and then in parentheses again error equal sign greater than sign open curly brackets and then we're just gonna do console dot log in parentheses and in quotes join failed space plus error dot description plus open quotes just a space plus error dot status 
And what this does is it'll just put any errors in the console. So if we make a mistake or it can't join or something, we'll have something to look at and understand what went wrong. Add a semicolon at the end of that. And now Kahoot dot on. And then in parentheses, we'll do joined with a capital J. And then we'll do comma, open parentheses, close parentheses, equal sign greater than sign, open curly brackets, and then new line. And we'll just do console.log in parentheses, successfully joined game. And what this does is pretty obvious. When it joins the game, it tells you that it joined the game. Seems reasonable. Now, here's where it starts to get exciting. It's kahoot.on. No, what the heck? Why does it do this? I type on and it just changes it to connected. I don't know why. Anyway, kahoot.on in quotes and in parentheses, question with a capital Q, start with a capital S. And what this does is it detects when a question starts. And then we'll do comma in parentheses, question, equal sign, greater than sign, open curly brackets, and then here we'll do question.answer, and we're gonna pick a random answer. And so to do that, we're using that, you know, that random number technique that you copy and paste off of W3 schools every time you wanna generate a, a random number because you don't remember how it works. Math.floor, in parentheses, math dot random, open parentheses as well, multiplied by, so that's just an asterisk, question dot, this is a mouthful, quiz, question with a capital Q, answers, in square brackets, question dot question index with a capital I and then outside of this math dot floor plus zero so I guess we don't actually have to do the plus zero whoa what did I just do we don't actually have to do the plus zero but it's nice for readability because that way you know that the minimum answer is zero. Add a semicolon at the end of that, add a semicolon at the end of that, and finally, one last thing, kahoot.on in parentheses and in quotes, disconnect with a capital D, comma, in parentheses, reason, and then equal sign greater than sign, open curly brackets, and inside of them, we will just do console.log in parentheses disconnected because space outside of the quotes plus reason. And then we're done. This is one Kahoot bot. This will not spam your Kahoot with a million bots. It will just be one. So to run this, you're going to make a Kahoot, obviously. So I'm going to just go to Kahoot.com real quick and start up a Kahoot. All right. So I got a Kahoot right here. So here's my game pin. And I'm just going to make sure that these audio levels are not too high. I'm going to turn down the music pretty low. OK. So I got a Kahoot. Here's my game pin. And then we're going to just copy that. And we're going to paste it into var pin. There's a space at the beginning, so we don't want that. We want to delete that. Then I'm just going to open the terminal and type node, and then the name of your JavaScript file. I called mine index.js, so that's what you'll type in there. Node index.js, and we'll hit enter. And there's a bug. Oh, you see this kahoot.connected? It's for some reason, this stupid, stupid IDE keeps replacing on with connected. So if your IDE did that to you, change it to on. Go down here, run this again, and now it should work fine. Let's go back to our Kahoot, and there it is! 
The one and only Kahoot Bot 42069. Nice. Now, just for showing this off, let's start the Kahoot. Of course, this is just one bot. It's not very interesting, but here we go anyway. Well, question one. Where did the idea for open suspects come from? By the way, this is from our Kahoot live stream. If you want to wondering what this Kahoot is. And wow, it got it right, but not because it's smart, just because it picked randomly. But look at that score. Look at that excellent score of 1,000. Better than any human could do. What's open suspects theme? Okay, you get the point. This is not very interesting, though. This is just one bot. Come on. Everyone knows that one bot's not very interesting. We want to make a thousand bots. So, now I'm going to show you how to make this, this code become... 1,000 bots, and it's actually not that hard. So, all you gotta do is change Kahoot right here to Kahoots with an S, and then delete new Kahoot right here. And we're gonna just make that open square brackets, close them, just a blank array. Now, we're going to add another variable right under the name, and I'm gonna remove the numbers from the name for a reason you'll see later. So we're making a new variable called bot underscore count and just like this does this is the number of bots you'll have so i'm going to just be relatively conservative here and do 230 bots because why not and now we're going to make a for loop so for in parentheses var i equals zero semicolon i is less than bot count semicolon i plus plus and all this does is Repeat this the number of times that bot count exists. Now we're going to delete this closing bracket here, and we're going to put it all the way at the end of the for loop. And then I'm just going to have this format the indentation for me automatically just to make it pretty. Not a big deal. Now, before all of these lines here, we want to add one thing. Cahoots dot push in parentheses new Kahoot with a capital K. And what this does is it'll create one instance. It'll make a new bot for every time we run this, basically. And then all we have to do is replace Kahoot with Kahoots in square brackets I, Kahoots in square brackets I, Kahoots in square brackets I, and Kahoots in square brackets I. It's really just that simple. And there's one more thing we want to change. You see name right here? We don't want them to all have the same name, obviously. We want them to have a different name. So I'm just going to have it name it from the number, like which bot it is. So name plus open quotes space plus string with a capital S and then in parentheses I. And all this does is it adds the number of bots it is to the end of whatever name you gave it. Very simple. And that's all. Now let's try this again. We'll make a new Kahoot and we'll run this code. All right, so we've made our new Kahoot now, waiting for the game pin to appear. Here it is. I'm just gonna copy this, go over here, paste it in there, make a new terminal and run the code. Now we wait for the bots. They take a little while to get started. In the meantime, we can enjoy this Kahoot music. Oh, here are the bots. Look at them go. So now we just need to wait a little second for them to all generate. We should get about 230. It's not super exact. Some of them fail. I don't know why. All right, that worked. We got 230 players in the game, so it seems like none of them failed this time. Great. Now let's start the game. <laughs> Woo, 100 answers, just like that. Now, for some reason, some of the bots won't answer. I, I don't know. It probably has something more to do with Kahoot servers than the actual code we're running. But, I don't know, it's weird. All right, lovely. 
So about a quarter of them got it right, which makes sense since there's a one in four chance that they'll get it right since they're picking randomly. And it seems as if Kahootbot17 is doing the best. Although it is tied with Kahootbot29 and Kahootbot47 and Kahootbot183, so we'll see what happens. And there we have it, 100 answers once again. Can you guys hear me well? I mean, I'm adjusting these audio levels to make the Kahoot music a lot quieter, but like, I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna be editing this and you can't even hear my voice at all. Looks like they did a little bit, well, I guess it's a one in three chance. So yeah, this is about right. And let's see who's winning now. Wow. Kahoot bought 183 in the lead. All right, all right, let's do another question. Yet again, 100 answers. I'm gonna just skip since we know that only 100 of them are gonna answer. Don't know why. And there we go, pretty even distribution. Oh, wow, Kahoot bought six just overtook everyone in the lead. Truly incredible. These bots are totally unpredictable. So, anyways, you get the point. It's a Kahoot bot that randomly picks the answers, and you can make as many of them as you want just by changing a number in the code. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And when I say don't forget to like and subscribe, I mean smash subscribe, because 99% of the people watching this video are not subscribed. So smash subscribe so we can get to 200 million by the end of the month. Oh, and by the way, there's links in the description to where you can download this code if you want. And remember that though JavaScript is versatile, it shouldn't be used for everything.